Has anybody been to the doctor recently? Oh, I was. You were? How was it? Good for you. Well, it was a lady doctor. Oh! I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Why are you Wait, sorry? Tell, tell us more. It's story. <laughs> story it's really telling. fun. I don't want it to be on the interweb. I, let me ask you something. Okay. Were you nice to her? She was very nice to me, so I was very nice back to her. You were very nice back to her. Okay. Yes. That's important. Because a recent study has shown that if you're rude to your doctor, they kill you. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, that might affect their medical performance. So, like, if you're rude, like, they'll they just hold forget to leave a thermometer or something. They hold a grudge. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it, it's just true with, like, a, a person. I think it doesn't matter how professional you can be, how, like, devoted to your job you are, how focused you are. Mm -hmm. Those little things, those little, like, transgressions that people commit onto you, it affects you in some way. And it affects your performance. And so I feel yeah. that's just like a general like, just be nice to people. Eventually they just stab someone in the neck. With yeah. Maybe like doctors in general, just like, how do you, how do you put yourself in a situation where you have to be like extremely selfless and like give up a large majority of your life to learn a, this ridiculous skill and yeah. just have people treat you like shit and, and like be okay with that? I just want to. I don't meet, think the money would be worth it. That's ridiculous. I want to meet those people that are treating doctors like shit. Like these people <laughs> are saving your life. You. They're yeah. curing you. They're you're helping you. You're gonna get upset. You're gonna get mad at them because you got like some disease. You got like cancer. You got bad lungs. You gotta take it out I on mean, the doctor. That's messed up. That's messed up. I mean, like, but like people who go to the doctor are usually having a really bad day. So I can see like where they might. Well, it's be because like, people go into it with like the mentality of like, oh, going to the doctor sucks. So you gotta sit in the waiting room. You gotta fill out the paperwork. I like that nobody else went to the doctor recently. <laughs> like, none of us Ooh, go to the doctor. I'm healthy and well, I don't have any Last time answers. I went was maybe like a couple months ago. And I was going regularly because I started going to like a, a skin doctor because I had something on my hands. And I was like, Everybody got eczema. Sure it was on your hands. Ooh, everybody got eczema. <laughs> everybody got eczema. Look at these bumps. You got eczema. I got what? The eczema. <laughs> I had like a new mole that I didn't know I had. So I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm getting cancer. So I started going to the doctor and she was like, no, you're fine. It's not a cancer mole. But she like started giving me like ointments for like acne and stuff because I was like stressed at the time and I was getting a lot of acne. And so I would go back repeatedly every couple <clears throat> of weeks uh, just to do check-ins. It was just, it was fine. Like I, I used to be one of those people that hated going to the doctor. And like after a while, it just got easier and easier. And it's just like... They're really just there to help you. Have I ever been a dick to a doctor? Have you? I don't know. That's a good question to ask yourself. I just figure whenever I go to the doctor, I'm all like, man, you've been in school like all you your life. You have the answers. You have the <laughs> answers. Me. You know. Like, you're, you're God right now, so just help me out. I remember. Okay, so there was this one oh, time. Oh, no. <laughs> um, there was this one time that um, I, I, was going to, I was in class, and I got out of class, and uh, my nose started bleeding. And I was like, oh no, shit. This I went, story. I went to the bathroom, <laughs> and... Um, and I like, I like started fixing myself and basically the, the, the gist of the story goes like my nose doesn't stop bleeding for like four hours so I go to the emergency room and I'm like what is happening to me and then this this first like dude dude nurse like greets me and he's like hey what's up and he like puts this thing on my nose I wish I had he puts this thing on my nose that's like a little clamp and it just like covers my nose and like stops the bleeding but it doesn't really stop the bleeding it's still bleeding like crazy the actual doctor lady comes up to me and she's like Hey, so, um, uh, did you put that on your nose? And I'm like, no. And, 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 and she's like, that's completely wrong. Like, what is on your nose right now has been put on there completely wrong. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she, like, takes it off and, like, puts it, like, on the right spot. And then my nose just stops bleeding. And then I, like, walk out of the emergency room. And then I'm, like, walking out of the emergency room and I see the freaking guy who put the thing on my nose completely incorrectly. And I was, I, I, like, literally looked at him and I was like, That's the most I've been addicted to a doctor. I was, uh, last time I saw a doctor, I went to the hospital here at uh, USC because I uh, was playing soccer and I injured my ankle. So I ended up really bad and um, so I went out there and I got to see someone else be addicted to a doctor. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think I see that more often than not, yeah. Yeah, it's usually not me, it's other people. And I'm yeah. like, oh shit, I'm gonna watch a show. And, and sure enough, yeah, this guy, he had, apparently had just got run over by a car. And, and they, they uh, yeah, they just checked him up and like, you know, oh put a band-aid or something and then let him, you know, like, okay, you can, you can go home now. And he, he kept, uh, he started yelling. And being aggressive to the to the security there, and they called the cops and like this, and then it's, it's a he's a black guy too. And he's like, why the fuck y'all telling me I need to go home? I just got ran over by a fucking car. 
I just got ran over by a car. That guy had a yeah. I, I seriously so thought he was gonna fight someone. Awful yeah, experience. It was crazy. So sure enough, like after causing a big ass drama, uh, they bring him a bed. They take him inside. They tell him they're gonna take care of him. They already like, helped finally, him. Finally, they helped. Not, not, not really. really. Yeah, I, I understood his his. Uh, they just stared at something. Yeah. I'm like, mm, okay, yeah. Just gonna, oh, somebody just got hit by a car. So you got hit, and the hell's going 60. And, oh. Here's a band aid, you're good to go. Yeah, they make, basically it just checked them up and told them, like, you can go home, just rest. Here, yeah. look, I am like, wearing my stethoscope. Yeah. So though, I'd be he was shirtless, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shirtless. Took off his shirt. Yeah, was, like, Why did you not up, say yeah. that before? They're all, all beat up. That just adds to the story. Yo, yo, fast black guy. Nobody was coming close to him. What a bad day for that guy. He gets hit by a car and he almost gets arrested. Yeah. I can see why he'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. Hi, thanks for listening to us talk about things. Um, thanks. You should like or comment or subscribe. You can do any one of those things. You should probably do them all. I think that's what is the preferred option.